Hey everybody, this is iLad bringing you another episode of Indie Speed Dating. And today we're looking at a game called Smoke and Sacrifice. I don't know very much about this game. Kind of going into it blind. The hand-drawn graphics are pretty nice though. I'll say that's a, it's a promising start. Ritual time, okay. All right, I gotta say that that's a that's a woman who does not look particularly happy. The sun tree. And sun branches. Not really sure what all this sun stuff is. It appears I can look at darn near anything. <laughs> Shrines are built to un honor children who undergo the ritual. So is that the sun tree? Guess it is. Hey, buddy. Let's see, uh, one of the little tips said I was looking for a red shrine. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is not going to be a happy ritual, like a birthday or whatever? Aww. What are you going to do to your kid? This is creeping me out a little bit. I like those sun tree bulbs though, it's pretty neat. Well, if the game's trying to build an air of mystery and, and anxiety, I'd say they're doing a fine job. <laughs> The effects are nice, I like the sound design. I'm a little torn on the on the graphics, to be honest. I don't know I don't know if I like it looking so flat. But it's it's well done though, within that aesthetic. The Ride of the Firstborn. Sacrifice. You're not actually going to... You're actually going to make me put a baby on an altar for sacrifice, aren't you? I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. When I played What Remains of Edith Finch, there's that one level where basically playing the game ends with a kid dying. That was like halfway or two thirds of the way through though. This doesn't pull any punches, like it starts out right away with that. OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, okay, so apparently this is how things are done in this culture. That's, uh, that's, that's a thing, that's something. They all seem pretty convinced that my kid's happy. Hey, who's this interesting looking fella? Looks a little disreputable, doesn't he? <laughs> He is a little shifty, but... Uh? Huh. Alright, so my kid's alive. <laughs> Maybe. Apparently. So that's a thing. And now he's seven years old. Nice. <laughs> A slight time skip there. <laughs> hmm. Alright, alright, alright. I'll go back to the village and consult the child murderers. Jeez. Pug bears. And the priests are gone. That's awesome. Oh, so that's a pug bear. Nice. <laughs> Those are fairly large. I gotta say, I hear the name pug bear. I think something a little smaller and cuter. <laughs> Those guys are neither small nor cute. Oh, oh. Okay. Ice cream headache. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well, you show up at opportune times, don't ya? I think he's telling me to go snoop. I think he's trying real hard to get me to go snoop. I think I'm okay with this. Let's go snoop. <laughs> Pudgy bear. Come here, Pudgy. Here, Pudgy, Pudgy, Pudgy. Pudgy Pudge. That's a cute name. Where is my house? Is 
a red shrine roof. Oh, I, I see it. I see it. Well, where's the bear? Baji. Baji. Oh, there he is. Cool. Ow. Let's not do that again. Ow. I like how some of them have bones and some of them have tree branches. Like, they could have just all been cookie cutter, you know? There was a lot of love that went into this game. All right, let's see. Oh, hey, cool. <laughs> right on. Just like I did to my son seven years ago, I'm doing to myself now. I'm a good mama. <laughs> Alright, smoke and sacrifice. Don't know about smoke, but I definitely see sacrifice. What, do you not have swamps anymore? Terminal, interesting. Alright. I really like the blend of like, I don't know, it's not quite, not quite steampunk, but it's this weird kind of arcane looking electronic stuff. I guess there's crafting in this game, what do you think? <laughs> I like the blend of that with the, um, you know, the fantasy things like the pug bears. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't harvest all this stuff, right? I mean, other than time, I guess. Alright, crafting station. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. What are you? A drear gatherer. Alright, so before night sets, and I see my clock up there in the corner, I've got to get some sticky polyp tendril stuff. That wasn't it. And catch a lantern fly, and I guess make some kind of light source. So this is, uh, it's got a little don't starve in it, doesn't it? Where can I get some of those tendrils? Uh, I think I maybe see where I get tendrils from. I'm probably going to have to beat the crap out of this slimy thing. kind of wish I had a weapon, but... Alright, I guess I'll get some polyp tendrils. Oh, wow. Okay. 
We just blew that up, didn't we? Ow. Alright. Hmm. So I can trick those things into blowing up containers for me. That's good to know. And I've got some polyp tendrils! Not enough. I gotta, gotta kill another one of those gross looking things. Awesome. Nope, there's one. Hmm. It's interesting that he's even hitting the tree. Brain, polyp tendril. Oh yeah. All right, now let's go. Uh, let's go craft a net, catch a lantern fly. What are you not gonna let me craft a net? How do I craft? Yeah. Come on. Craft. Just craft. I've got the ingredients, now do it. What the heck? Do I need a crafting station? Didn't say I needed a crafting station. That's a big help, thank you. Do I do it here? I wouldn't think so. Is this the guy I was talking to? No. Maybe. Who knows. <laughs> Ow. You're mean. I just want you tendrils. How do I craft? Oh my gosh. You know what? I was, I'm going to rant for a second. I really hate when games are like you gotta hold down the button to do something but they don't actually tell you you gotta hold down the button to do something I get caught up in that all the time like first of all it's a dumb mechanic if you want me to confirm it toss up a yes or no dialogue or something or make it optional but if you've got to have me hold down the button just tell me I can't tell you how many games I've had where that exact thing happened. Where I was sitting here, I was hammering the button that I knew I was supposed to press. Yeah, like that. Um, but I hadn't actually held it down because nothing told me I was supposed to. It's really frustrating. Anyway. Jeez. Recipe hides. Rub the hides with sour fruit juice, okay. Well, I guess I need some more uh, sour fruit then, don't I? Feral child? Huh. Interesting, okay. Well, that's a clue. Huh. Right on. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Like, there's uh, there's some stuff going on here. I, uh... It's interesting. I don't really know what to make of it at this point. Like, maybe it's going to be awesome, or maybe it's going to be super tedious. I don't know. But, in any case, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're curious about this game, which I definitely still am um you know click over to steam check it out uh otherwise i hope to see you back for the next video thank you guys so much bye-bye mm,